everybody has potentially some small but important part to play in what I call bringing back the old ways. The ways of living with relationship and respect to the sacred world that we live in. Elliot used to go all over the place giving public talks about plant spirit medicine and uh, sharing the wisdom that he carried. One night, someone asked him, why are the plants so good to us? And this is what he said. Especially since we haven't been, you know, very kind to them on the whole, have we? No. But the answer is something like this. It's like the plant beings uh, are not um, saddled with this, um, um, this sense that we have of human beings of being separate. You know, there's me and there's everything else. And everything else is, uh, well, well, I'm the important thing, you know. And that, uh, that sense of being separate is uh, created by fear and engenders more fear. Well, being separate by itself is scary, right? Isn't it? To feel like you have to deal with the whole world and everything going on just on your own individual resources or something and every, everything else is something else and there's a possibility for danger and loss everywhere you turn. That's a scary way to live. So the fear creates a sense of individuality and then strives to protect it by controlling everything, trying to make everything predictable at any cost. And what we're discovering is that the cost is enormous because this is the kind of uh, way of being in the world that's created a way of life that we're now seeing more and more clearly as being what's called unsustainable and causing uh, unprecedented damage to call it the ecosystem but you know plants don't think of the world as an ecosystem they themselves are alive and aware and they look around and it's all they're brothers and sisters, alive and aware and talking with each other and interacting with each other. And uh, everything um, has its place and everything fits with everything else. You know, if you want a, um, a lesson in how to live in a, uh, I'm going to borrow a term here, an enlightened way in the world, you could do a lot worse than take a, take a lesson from observing how a plant lives in the world. A plant that was brought forth there and is designed to live in that place. Its life benefits everything and is benefited by everything. And so I'm going to say it like this, that uh, the plants are uh, very generous and they're very eager to have us join the party to join the party, you know, to be a part of this amazing world that's alive and sacred. And really their interest in giving us these gifts of healing and knowledge and so on and so forth is, uh, you know, for us to, like I, well, I could call it joining the party, 
And instead of destroying the world, celebrate with the world. Be caretakers of the world. And uh, they really like that. They really like that.